What's going on, everybody? I'm Doghouse42, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We're here over at Dampe's Shack. Dampe's Shack? Yep, Dampe's Shack. And we're continuing on with his challenges. I think we're going to spend the next couple of episodes doing this until I get bored of it, and then we're going to go on, finish off Turtle Rock, come back, finish the last of these, complete everything, and then go finish up this game, because we're almost at the end. Hey there, company's always welcome. What are you here for? Um, we're here to arrange a dungeon, if you don't mind. So, we got... Oh, we got free... Open slot. Oh, it just lets me free play. Uh, well, I'm on a mission, so thank you. I'm good. So, alright. So we got all those done with the check marks. We got Key Hunter. Uh, I, I hear you. The treasure chest tiles aren't too close to the locks uh, on that one chamber. Oh, I see. Hmm. That's the point. Your job is to make a path using all of them. Remember to put some other chests into. Uh, wouldn't want to lock yourself out of the rest of the dungeon. Okay, so I had to cut out all the other stuff because it took me a while of fumbling around to just make sure I had a whole bunch of chests and surplus of the locks that I needed. Um, and it's a pretty linear dungeon, even though it looks all sort of chaos. Uh, but one thing that I'm going to experiment with is I have one stairway down and it doesn't go into anywhere. And I don't know if that's going to break the dungeon or if I just get down there and it's a dead end. I'm curious to see what happens, though. So uh, no nightmares placed. Oh, crap. I forgot about nightmares. All right. Well, let's get a nightmare. Um, where is this one going to be easy to put? We'll put him right here, and then we're going to remove this room. And we're going to put a four banger in there. Um, we haven't played this guy. Let's throw him in there. Boom. There we go. That means I'm going to have to do some backtracking, doesn't it? Uh, okay, well, let's just go play it. Let's just do it. I could do this better, but... It's going to take me longer, so let's, you know, let's just get at it. Okay, as always, there's all those pots. They only have, like, three hearts in them. No point doing any of that. Um, treasure room. Let's keep him down there. Thank you. So, I imagine this is going to have keys in it. I think the way that this system works is it prioritizes the keys you get first. Okay. And then let's take a quick look. So I got to go right and then left, but I'm going to have to backtrack eventually. Oh, what's this guy? Cool. Got another key. Terrific. It'd be cool if, like the original Zelda, you can actually get a surplus of keys and then walk out the door with them. Um, that would be handy. Oh, this is. Oh, got it. We want to go left, though. What? Cool. Uh, we're going to leave this room alone, just in case that stuff doesn't spawn back in. Yeah. Oh, hey! Don't be a jerk, jerk. What happens if I stand right here? Oh, it auto-moves me. Okay. Well, I was curious. And then... Yeah, that's abominable wall next to me. I don't know why I put that there. Why does it keep putting me back on Pombo's mom Mambo? Mambo's Mambo? I don't know. Might be because that's what I have in my hand when I go talk to Dompy, and then Dompy just resets everything about me. So I think I think he said that originally on is don't worry about like the hearts and everything. I think this is like all a dream within a dream, sort of. Was that Inception? Yeah. Oops. Hey. Don't... Oh, I didn't see that thing over there. Okay, well, I guess that clears out the keys now, don't it? Grab onto that chest, it'll anchor us. Oh, yeah, we gotta get that one rupee, don't you know? Terrific. I wonder if there's a way to kill that purple thing. I think there is. Oh, huh, that was cool. Okay, let's go check out... This area. Boop. So squishy on their belly. Now, what happens? I'm so curious. Is this gonna break? Is this gonna break my dungeon? Like, I'm just gonna pop out in Dompy's chamber? Huh. It's just a dead end with some hanging skeletons. 
the uh, cartels must have gotten to them. Okay, so I don't know if it's a, a requirement. I don't know if it's a requirement. Let's see, what do I gotta do? I gotta hit a switch. Is this a... Oh, it's a treasure chest room. Got it. Please don't be one rupee. Please be something, like, better than a rupee. Uh, okay, well, I think it's it's totally fine putting a bunch of treasure chests. Like, uh, obviously you're going to need more than, uh, obviously, the locks by at least one. But, oh, crap. I, for, I, I was going to swing my sword at him, but then I realized, oh, yeah, it's the uh, boomerang that gets him. Oops. But my indecision. Oh, so why did I even come in here? Oh, yeah, that's right. You gotta get... You gotta open all the chests, otherwise you can't get the nightmare key. And that's... this one? Okay, terrific. Now, a little bit of backtracking. This shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna leave that door undone. Oh, jeez. Where are you? Banana and pajama gels. Oh no! Did me dirty. Bye. Alright, cool. I don't need all this stuff. Just need half a heart. Oops, wrong button. That's the button. Okay, so I think I put the Big Mac monster in here. Yep, cool. There's one for you. Come on over when you're ready. I got a fresh one. I don't know why I'm doing the spin attack. Ugh. Key hunter clear. Terrific. Let's go get some exposition from Dompe. What a show. There are times I blah, blah, blah. Here, have a tile. Or not a tile. A chamber. Fit into the dungeon slot. So what do you mean by dungeon slot, my guy? Okay, so we're going to arrange. We're going to do another one of these. I think we got time. Oh, got it. We could do bombs away. Uh, bombs primed with a couple of chambers already. Now it's your turn uh, to stuff it with powder or chambers. Don't worry. That fuse isn't lit. You got time to figure it out. So what do you want from me? Do I have to fill up all the chambers again? Okay, well, let's, uh... Oh, we got a new entrance now. Okay, so I apparently unlock the ability to use the rooms. Uh, sorry, I, I kind of spaced out trying to think of how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do a test here. Um, you apparently unlock the ability to use the rooms, because these are rooms I didn't have access to. But you unlock all... Oh? <gasps> what? That's all I had to do was just select them? Oh my goodness. That's cool. I got a wide variety of monsters to go against. Um, I guess I guess I'll edit it out after I say this. I'm gonna make a direct route from here to here with the boss monster here. And if it won't let me play that, no harm, no foul. Uh, we will uh, fill out everything with stuff that I don't need, and then we'll come back. Um, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back, and it looks like it is going to let us play this dungeon without filling out everything. So we got a straight line, um, which, yeah, I have to use this doorway. So we're going to start here and just make a straight line up. We're going to grab the only chest, which is the Nightmare Key, go fight the boss. Uh, Bob's your uncle. We're out. Dang it! There are tiles without chambers placed on them. <sighs> well, okay. Be back in a minute. Okay, so now we got it all filled out. No dead ends. Uh, we had to throw a couple of extra chests in, but I made sure that they're on my route. So we got one that unlocks this, uh, the one that's got a key that I'll unlock this door, another one that's got a rupee that I just got to get. Uh, then we got the nightmare key right here. Um, 
And then I've also found this out. The Y button uh, lets you check, and what it does is it checks to make sure there's no dead ends. And apparently, um, an odd number of stairways not a problem. It just gives you a dead end, uh, but it'll show you where each room travels. And so by throwing them there, just none of this matters. I'm not even going to go in those rooms. Um, a bunch of monsters and big stuff that's just going to be time consuming. Speaking of time consuming, I'm going to stop talking. We're just going to do this. So I, I have the same route as before. I'm not going to bother with most of this, although I didn't realize I threw a Hinox in here. Hinox? Hinox? Is that what this guy is? Whoa! Oh! I don't want to let him grab me. Oh! I let him grab me. Oh, and he threw me on the thing. Get off that thing. Oh! My goodness. I, I think I've only fought this guy once before. Oh, man. He's hurting me. He's hurting me. Wait, can I do this? Why didn't I do that to begin with? That'd be cool if the boomerang kept going and grabbed that fairy for me. Okay, that guy's not so bad. Okay, so I don't think I really need to do much with these guys, but I don't think I put a chest in here. Maybe I did, maybe I did. Whoops. Wrong button. Yeah, there's a chest in here, so I do. I gotta beat those guys. I think I get to keep the rupees that I leave here with. Small key. Um, at the end of this one, I think if I have to play more Dompe adventures, I'm gonna go outside and select off. Whoops. What have I done? There. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna select off of my Mambo's Mambo because I think that's what's making me start the dungeon. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Or else, next next time I finish this... Oh, cool! We got more than one single solitary rupee this time. So, if, if I started this Dompe business uh, low on hearts and low on arrows and bombs and magic dust. I wonder if it reverts me to my earlier status or if it actually just goes ahead and gives me... It just fills me up because I collected it in this dungeon. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe when I finish this, I'll uh, diesel... You know, I'll, I'll walk out of Dompey's place. I'll fire a couple arrows, throw a couple of bombs. Sprinkle around some magic dust, uh, get hit a couple of times, so I'm a little bit, you know, like missing half a heart or something. Um, then I'll run a dungeon. I'll also get something besides the the what do you call it? Yeah, the the ocarina in my hand. Yeah, just to see if that's how it sets me. What's this? I got a plus bombs effect. Apply it to a chamber for a deluge of bombs. Meaning I'm going to get attacked with bombs, or I... What does that mean? Uh, we're going to quit. I think after I edit out the building part, I have enough time for one more dungeon. Well, we're just going to make time. Um, so we're going to do this. I got 34. We're going to go 2, 3, 4. So that brings us down to 30. Um, 52 bombs. We're going to go grab this and uh, chuck it. Can I set out another bomb? There we go. Now we're down to 50 bombs. Uh, select this one. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we got 50 bombs, 50 arrows, 30 of these. Why am I so low on these? I thought my max was increased to 60. And then I'm going to select on this. Where's a monster? Where's a monster when you need one? Can I come up here? Hello. Hi, crows. I'm a feast for you. Bam. Thank you. Hey there, company's always welcome. My name's Don, blah, 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 blah. Arrange. So, tier two. Got those. We got treasure. Treasure vault? What in the world? Uh, the vault needs treasure. Stuff those tiles uh, that have treasure chest marks with chambers that have chests. I uh, don't got to tell you how to bridge that gap, do I? No, no, I get it. But do I have to fill up all those tiles? That's what I want to know. 
Okay, so obviously my starting point has to be somewhere else, and the boss has to be somewhere else as well. So, okay then. I'm just going to put this one right here, because it doesn't matter. I'm going to grab one of these guys that has a uh, two. It's a straight line, maybe. That's got a stairway on it. There we go. That one's got a stairway on it. Boop. And then we're going to go with the dungeon boss, Big Mac, right here. Yeah? Okay. I, I, I might have, ed I might be editing that out, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so, I think this is the one I lift up. Got it, I see what's going on here. Can I take this with me? I can take it with me! Oh! Almost had it. Ow, Jerkosaurus Rex. Ow! Even his sides hurt. Hmm. Ow! Quit being so spiky, Spiky. Ow! <sighs> You'll go if you know what's good for you. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. Because I'm having a bear of a time just doing it normal. I don't know why. There we go. Oh! Goodness me. There we go. Man, that was difficult. I'm really sweating that one. Okay, so we just got a whole bunch of stuff. By the way, so it starts me with full everything. Like, full bombs, full everything. We're going to finish this, and we're going to take a look at our inventory to see what's happened. I forgot to... What? Oh. Okay, I got it. Can I just open this up? Thank you. Bye. Come up and around, smack that guy down a couple of times, step on this thing, get our stupid treasure chest. Yeah, and we have to get that treasure chest. Right? Yeah, I think we have to. I don't know if the game's made up its mind what's in each treasure chest until um, after I've done all the things, but it, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Gentlemen. <laughs> Either way, it's just free money. It's like one or two dollars. Oh, or unless we get a 50. Oh, okay. I wonder if this level is programmed to give us more. Are they still shooting or are they done with that business? Cool, we're actually making... $116? Do I not get to keep any of the money? Oh, boomerang. I forgot. I forgot. Ow! Well, I'm hitting the wrong button anyway. Oh, I think my boomerang can go through these. Yes, it can! Splendid. Splendid indeed. Okay, we just want to come up here. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't know why I did it that way. I could have done it from anywhere. Another 20 spot. I wonder if that's just like for this one level. Let's give me credit. I don't know why I'm bothering grabbing that thing. I feel like we haven't fought one of these skeleton dudes in a while. What's up, handsome? How you living? I booped you in your belly. You just got the Pillsbury Doughboy right there, tell you what. I'll grab that dollar because none of this matters. Uh, I think these are in the right configuration where I want them, but I don't know what's to come, so we're just going to reset this business. Okie dokie. Now to backtrack. Oh! Boy, we picked the right direction to be proceeding through this dungeon. 
got the nightmare key. What an appropriate room for the nightmare key. Out of all these treasure chest rooms, that is Taiwan. Okay, so all these are okay. So it filled me up on all the stuff. I wonder what it's going to be like when I get done. Oh, good. That was cool. I was able to jump up into the ladder. I mean, I've done it before. It's just hadn't really been so mindful about it. I also forgot to take notice of which weapon I had selected when I began this dungeon. I mean, I'm going to have to edit this, so I'll just take a look then, but I think I don't recall having to switch off the ocarina, so that's good news. So, on my clock, we're well past 30 minutes, but once I edit all the building stuff out, it'll probably be closer to its normal standard of about 25. Um, yeah, it'll probably remove about 10 minutes off of this. But, okay, what a show, yeah, 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 yeah. What do, what do I win from here? I get another chamber? By chamber, do you mean, do I get another room? Well, I have everything selected now. I'm gonna quit. I wish that I could quit you. Okay, so if I come over, whoops, wrong button. Um, memories, there we go. We're gonna come over to chamber stones. Now I can actually see them. So, excuse me, little soda pop burp. Ugh, um, all the rooms that had exclamation marks on them. What I did was, uh, I just ran my cursor over them, and as soon as the cursor settled on one, it opened it up and let me see it. So now I could see all of these things, which is pretty cool. I don't know how many um, chambers there are in this game. I'm curious to know, actually. I'm really curious to know. But I got a whole bunch of these. Um, and if he gave me one just now, it looks like it might be that one he just gave me. Or maybe that one. But then we also have these weird things. And I don't even know how to view it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Coming back here. So we're still missing half a heart. And we're down a bunch of bombs, a bunch of arrows, and a bunch of magic. So that confirms that. We're still selected on the boomerang instead of the ocarina. So... Wait, what's this? Chamber stones, mysterious stones that give you an eerie feeling. What do I do with these? I have seven of them. Do I... What do I do with these? I have seven of them, dude. What do I... I can't select them. I can't put them in my hand. Dompe, lead me. I don't know what you want me to do, my guy. Uh, I don't... Yeah, nothing. I got nothing for you. I don't... I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of internet researching to figure out what's up with that. I don't... There's no other way to plug these in to read them. Huh. I don't know about that. Mysterious stones that give you an eerie feeling. Chamber stones, right? I don't... Chamber stones. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Anyways, I got to get to editing on this video. Guys, as always, I thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. So long.